Well, the U.S. government is on day six of a partial shutdown. Hundreds of government workers are forced to stay home without pay, and that's affecting some federal court cases. It doesn't help any of our situations that I'm in. It just is a backlog. Now, 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed joins us now. And Kat, I understand you talk with the person today whose case is affected by all this. What they have to say. I, I did, Kevin and Cynthia. You know, the doors at the federal courthouse here were open today, but as the shutdown continues, the DOJ is directing some of its attorneys to postpone certain civil cases, and we have learned of at least two here in the metro that are impacted. He's a strong man. He's a good man. He served his country. Carrie is talking about her father, an 84 year old army veteran. She asked us not to use her last name to protect her privacy. On a January night in 2017, her dad John fell and hit his head on the stairs at home. So the paramedics came and they took him to the VA. It was the Dwight D. Eisenhower VA Medical Center in Leavenworth. The family says doctors there said John needed to be sent to KU for surgery, but hours passed and nothing happened. Then they, he slipped into a coma because his brain was full of blood. He passed away a few days later and the family filed a wrongful death suit. It's now one of many nationwide impacted by the government shutdown. DOJ protocol says civil litigation should be curtailed or postponed as long as it doesn't compromise the safety of human life or the protection of property. In Kerry's case, U.S. Attorney Stephen McAllister asked for a 14 day extension. In a court document, he wrote civil assistant U.S. attorneys such as counsel for the U.S. in this lawsuit are not exempt from the furlough and are prevented from working. Doesn't sound like a lot, but a couple weeks is a lot. And if it keeps going on, it's a big impact. Carrie's case isn't the only one affected. I miss him forever. More than four years ago, 13 year old Kente Summers was killed in a car accident. A U.S. postal worker is accused of running a stop sign and causing the crash. U.S. Attorney Tim Garrison is asking for a 30 day extension in this case. Kerry is thinking of others impacted by the shutdown and hoping the politicians responsible can come to an agreement. It doesn't help any of our situations that I'm in, it just is a backlog. The U.S. Court's website says that the judicial branch has enough funding to continue this way for three weeks of a shutdown. That would wrap up on January 11th. Of course, they've got yet another emergency plan that would kick in after that. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kat Reed, 41 Action News.